Welcome to the official Lake House Legend Stealth Guide. For this mission, you're going to need the Art of the Steel perk and either the Inner Pockets or Hidden Weapons perk. It's also recommended to have several out of sight perks as well as Masquerade perks. For your loadout, you're going to need a lockpick and a 480 MCS that's suppressed and concealed. The first thing you need to do is drop your bag and lockpick this door. It's not necessary to go in since you can always climb over the fence, but it's necessary for luring to work. Next, you need to go to the right side, but be careful that there isn't anyone who can see you go in. Go to this corner, look at the camera, and let the suspicion meter fill up to one bar. Then go back and hide in this spot. This method requires a decent amount of out of sight perks, but it's generally one of the fastest and most reliable methods. Eventually, a Phoenix operative will be lured to your location. As soon as they get down, knock them out, answer the radio, and take their disguise. One downside of this method is that it's RNG dependent, which means that there won't always be a camera in that spot. But if there isn't, then that's totally okay, because there's a slightly different way to do it. Wait for an operative to go to a spot where they can see you. Let their suspicion meter fill up two full bars and then quickly get out of sight. Then just wait for them to arrive and take them out. Anyway, once you have a disguise, the first thing you should do is go to this area and look inside the window to check whether there's a camera operator inside, which in this case, there isn't. Next, you have to find the circuit box, which is in a random spot outside the house. Use your lockpick to open the circuit box and then disable it. Avoid doing this while an operative can see you since this interaction is suspicious. This will open a random door into the house. It's very important that you remember the location of this door since you're going to need to leave through that same door at the end. Once you're inside, you have two main objectives. The first is to check the files until you find the code for the security door. The files can be found in any room except for the locked rooms. The second objective is to find the camera operator. If they were inside this room, then you can go in through this door. Otherwise, just check one of the other three rooms. Note that although there are a total of six locked rooms, only four of them can actually have the camera operator. I suggest that you prioritize finding the operator but that you check any files you encounter along the way. As with any stealth mission, avoid making eye contact with NPCs while moving from place to place. Also, knocking out anyone will force you to answer a radio, so you can't take anyone out in this stage. Once you find the right room, hostage the operator, interrogate them, and knock them out. This will unlock the Head of Security objective, which you can switch to by pressing J. One of the operatives will have a marker over them. You have to take them out first, but you can't just knock them out in the open or else other NPCs will see the body. Wait for them to get to a spot that's in a closed room and where their body won't be visible from the outside. Back the body and hide it somewhere safe. Now that the radios are disabled, you have to take out the remaining three operatives. If you don't have the code yet, then make sure to check the files as you're doing this. Eventually, someone will go to an isolated room such as this one. Take them out, back the body, hide it somewhere out of sight, and repeat this process. Once you take out the third operative, you don't necessarily have to hide the body since you're about to track the last operative anyway. Note that there's a timer of about 9 minutes and 10 seconds. After this point, seal code will arrive and stealth will be failed, so you have to be fast. Anyway, this spot by the window is a lot riskier than it seems since it can be seen by the operatives on the outside. Thus, it makes sense to wait for them to leave. It doesn't matter where you take out the final operative, so long as they can't be seen from the outside since there isn't anyone left on the inside. 
Remember that Phoenix operatives can't be hostaged, so if they're moving, you have to either sneak out behind them or fill up their suspicion meter by one bar to make them stop in place and then knock them out. Next, you need to use the shotgun to shoot the breaker switch through the glass. You should stand at a distance where the suppressor is going through the glass, but the rest of the gun is still behind it. Once you hit the breaker switch, the door will open and you should search the computer. The waiting part here is really boring, so it's time for some entry point memes. Grab the server and run as fast as possible to the boat. You'll have to use the same door you used to come in, since breaking glass will raise the alarm. This is why it's so important to remember your entry point. Remember that there's still three operatives left on the outside, so you have to be careful not to be detected while escaping. If one of them is in the docks, then you'll have to knock them out and continue running to the end. This is a different method for obtaining a disguise. Go to the right and stop here. You have to be very careful before moving on. Press E to lean to your right and make sure that there isn't anyone inside. Then sprint to the other side and wait for a phoenix operative to arrive. This might take a while depending on your luck. Anyway, once an operative gets there, you can safely take them out, answer the radio, take the disguise, and hide the body. This is generally a safer method, but it can be a bit slow at times, and this is a timed mission after all. I'd like to give a shout out to the YouTuber Not Ambrose for inspiring me to make the first disguise method used in this video. I'd also like to give a shout out to Aiden9382 for recording all the footage used in this video. Overall, the lake house is one of the easier missions in entry point. So long as you follow these steps and move quickly, you should be just fine. Anyway, if you want to be notified when the next video comes out, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys next time.